This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. I had heard about stalkers, but as far as I knew, I had never had a stalker after me. It turns out I was wrong. I had stalkers. Predators can stalk you out in the real world without you knowing it, and they do. But they can also stalk you in the realm of thought, often called the spirit realm, or the astral plane. You can hear your thoughts, so can they. Predators can stalk you on the astral plane without you knowing it, and it's very hard to prove. They use hypnosis and all kinds of techniques, and methods they call science of the mind, but the Bible calls them witchcraft. What happens when you find out you have a psychic predator and try to get rid of him with exorcism? This is April Shell Ties. I have had psychic predators after me without knowing it, but one sexual predator at work was identified. He persisted for years. He had identified himself on the astral plane, and later said he was the reincarnating Lord with AIDS, and that I needed to kill myself to reincarnate with him. Yes. He wanted me to commit suicide, and he wouldn't take no for an answer. I'm still a virgin. In desperation, I tried exorcism, staying in scripture all the time. There was no way I was going to kill myself and leave my dogs alone. What happened? My dogs were poisoned. External attacks became more blatant. Two of my brothers were already dead, and a niece, too. Now my dogs were all dead, all of them. I thought I was fighting off one sexual predator at work, a black occultist pretending to be the Lord, but I found out he wasn't alone. He had friends, powerful friends, in a vast secret society network that controls religion, education, government, and business. In fact, it was the global new order, and efforts to kill me increased. They exposed me to covered. They took away my job, my vacation pay, holiday pay, sick pay. They blocked my 403b money. They blocked my retirement. They cut my phone. They cut my internet. They cut my power. They are still arranging power outages. They sabotage my cars, again and again, and again. They cut my furnace, and they're stalking me, out in the open. I don't want to believe it, but I cannot miss it. Finally, I knew I was being stalked and I tried to avoid the stalker I had identified. It's open season on me, because I fought of a sexual predator. Everyone's after me now. They have plenty of people in on it, but one person in particular is now being obvious, and before this, I didn't know he was involved. Now he's always there whenever I set foot outside my house, threatening me directly by shining headlights in my face, cutting me off with his vehicle doing this day after day, again and again, in an ever more threatening manner. Why was I attacked in the first place? They thought they could get away with it. What's the excuse now? I found out some of what was going on, and I've been speaking out against genocide, and talking about Native American rights. Why would these people attack me over that? Their original excuse was sexual predation. They were caught in sexual predation. I'm still a virgin. They didn't get what they wanted. So the attacks became more and more blatant, and bigger in scope. Everyone was helping. More people were invited in, to shut me up. Their secret societies were threatened. They started it, and they're going to finish it, by finishing me. I tried to warn others on my YouTube channel, 8th Day 2. The attacks became more open and pronounced. They haven't stopped. I am being stalked. I have a stalker, a threatening one, who was very blatant. This is Rome, and Rome is supported by secret societies, and their secret is hypnosis. Rome practices genocide and calls it population control. Jews, Africans, Muslims, Native Americans, Mexicans and many more have been subjected to genocide. You could be next. If you think you have a stalker, you probably do. Don't give in without a fight. Practice psychic self-defense. Do not have sex. Do not eat meat. Read the Bible. Respect your life. The scriptures say, whoever among you does wrong out of ignorance, and then repents afterwards and reforms, he is forgiving and merciful. It is for those who do wrong and do not repent, these are the inmates of the fire, where they will remain forever.